Hi, my name's Anne. Uh, we're gonna learn a little about uh, coloring in Clip Studio Paint today. I've never made a tutorial. So, uh, this is the first method. Uh, I use this one most often. Um, it's really just uh, using a selection tool set to uh, be aware of other layers. And um, really just using the paint bucket, which is really nice because it shows up automatically. Uh, the only problem, however, with this method is that sometimes it leaves these little white spaces because the selection tool can't catch everything, which usually means I gotta go in and get all the little details, which I don't really mind because that's just how I've been doing this method forever, really. Um, so yeah, just select, uh, try to get as much as you can to save yourself a little less, uh, pain later. Yeah, as you can see, I missed a few spots. Nothing wrong with that, as long as I don't forget it. One of the only problems is with this method is that, uh, if you miss any spots, um, in the final product, it just looks kind of bad because there's this, just this little transparency. It's not always noticeable. It's most noticeable when there's a background with a strong contrast and it's a big hole. So, uh, it's good to just go in and try to get everything. I don't really mind. I like zooming in to see all the details. As you can see here, I don't always use the paint bucket tool. Sometimes I'll just go in with a brush. It's pretty nice. Yeah, especially on smaller details, I recommend just going in with a brush. There is really no replacement for zooming in. Uh, this is all done on one layer. There's one layer for ink and one layer for all the colors. There's no uh, line art border between um, two colors, so I just have to draw a line and then paint bucket it in. Sometimes uh, that mode of selection just does weird things as you're gonna see pretty soon that's gonna bleed over into the part where there's no borders and that's just that's just the program it's not perfect you just gotta go in and color it in yourself nothing wrong with that So if I set to uh, if I set the selection method to refer to only this layer, I think that's what it is. I can't remember. Um, it'll only work for that layer, so it won't take uh, a liner into consideration at all. It'll only take in the color, which is really helpful because oh, I want to color in um, I want to color in this one part of his body, but there's some line art blocking it off. Oh wait, like a, especially for the tail, like there's line art crossing over for it. If I just used uh, the mode I was using earlier for selection, uh, then it would uh, require a lot more clicks because I'd be selecting a lot more things, but if I use the other mode and then I just use one, it's a lot faster. I don't like clicking a lot if I don't have to. Uh, I'm just going to blend it in a little. Okay, on to method two. So in method one, we have the problem of usually having those little white spaces, especially in the corner or in little intersections. Uh, this next method helps get rid of it. Um, mess with the layer selection modes because sometimes you'll have to get rid of everything else so that it's not touched. Or you can do what I'll do and I'll just go on the ink layer and do uh, use only this layer for selection. 
because I actually forgot what the actual name is. Um, and then I'll just uh, inverse the selection and pick the biggest color. So either the orange or the skin color would work. Paint bucket that saves a lot of little holes. Um, patches up a lot of those, you don't really see any, but it's always good to check. On outside corners, however, sometimes there's holes and you're going to have to check for them. So here you can see me just inspecting it, make sure I got everything. So Clip Studio Paint has clipping masks. What they really do is just uh, basically say, hey, this layer only shows up on the layer underneath it. It's pretty handy. So with that, I can go on, off, on, off, on, off, like that. Uh, for this method, it's really good because then it's only a layer of, right now, just this orange on top of the skin there, so it's easy to just erase. Uh, it doesn't go outside of the edges of the brown skin because that's how clipping masks work. For this method, I'm going to do all the coloring on a clipping mask over the main layer because it's the biggest, it's the easiest, has a lot of little cracks I don't want to deal with later. I'm just going to color. I use this method mostly for uh, sometimes comic pages where I have multiple characters, so I'll have a, a base layer of a skin tones, and then I'll put all the other layers on top of it in a clipping layer, clipping mask, my apologies. It's kind of nice because on the edges you can go as far as you want without trying to keep it in the lines. I think this is probably actually the most effective method. I just don't use it a lot. So for this method, you don't necessarily have to use the skin color. You can also just use uh, the most dominant color. So uh, if you have something that's mostly blue, then use blue. Um, if a character is in like a black bodysuit, then uh, have a black have the black of the bodysuit be the base color, and then put the skin tones on top of it. It's just less work. It's a pretty easy shortcut. And that is method two. I always merge the layers at the end. So method three is where, um, similar to method two, where you had a base layer and then one layer on top with all the other other colors. Uh, this one is different because you're going to have every single color be its own layer until you merge all the layers together later. Uh, a lot of people who do more digital painting use this method. 
Um, personally, I don't like it, but a nice thing is that it's really easy to adjust all the colors later. Uh, you can also um, change the positioning of the layers, which is pretty nice. So you don't always have to put things in front or behind layers. I'm going to make this one go faster because it is a longer method. It's not my favorite. It does have its advantage, advantages, though. <laughs> I can't speak. And there you have it. Uh, Clip Studio Paint uh, coloring methods. Thank you for watching. Bye.